This is Professor Dean Ho. He really loves to keep his body in tip-top shape. But more importantly, he is the director of the Institute of Digital Medicine at NUS Medicine, or WISDOM for short. His AI projects have been making waves in the medical industry. I'm here today to find out what exactly he does and why it's so important. Hi, Professor Dean. Hi, I'm how Joe. are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? So what I'm doing is playing a game called Matt B. It's a multitasking game. And what we're doing is pairing this with our Curate AI platform to make what's called a digital therapeutic, which is using software to combat cognitive decline. Oh. You want to give it a try? Yes. Give it a try. Here you go. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to use this joystick to try to hit that target over there. Okay. And then you're going to use either a mouse or your finger on the board here to try to manage these dials to see if you can keep the plane fueled, to see if you can respond to audio commands. What you're basically doing is all the data that we're collecting is going to be used to see how fast or how long it takes for you to address each target. And with that, we're going to make a personalized graph just for you. And that graph will tell us what intensity is needed to personalize your digital therapy to best combat cognitive decline. So what uses are there then in real life? In real life, one thing we're doing right now is we're developing this to work on tablets so we can deploy this in housing communities, for example, and for the aging community. What AI can do for the healthcare industry is to equip the doctors with the tools that are not available right now and then that can lead to improved patient outcomes. And I think that this will help um, doctors and clinicians make more informed healthcare decisions as well as drive down the costs of medicine. You know, do you have any other fascinating projects like these? Yes, and so we have a platform called Identify, which we're using to address COVID-19. So maybe we can go and I'll explain how it works. Okay. Professor Dean, how does this paint explain Identify? So our goal here, if we treat the blue as drug A, yellow as drug B, our goal is to mix them together with the right amount of droplets for each color to turn this water into green. All right, so maybe we'll team up on it. I will start off. <clears throat> with the blue, okay. and uh, I'll start off with, let's guess, maybe 15 drops. Okay, okay. Maybe you'll add some yellow to balance that out. Yeah. And okay. the way Identify works is we need to pick the right drugs, which in this case will be blue and yellow, but we have to make sure we add the right amount of each one. And so in doing that, after you've added the right amount, maybe we'll start mixing. Thank you. And then let's see what happens. Look at that. Oh, wow. Perfect. When developing optimal drug combinations, it's about getting the right drugs together, the right amount of each drug. Mm. That's how Identify works. Right, so has Identify ever saved lives then? So the exciting part about Identify is that we were able to come up with the right mixes of different combinations to combat the coronavirus. With that information, we've come up with clinical trials so that when, when patients, or if patients ever need these combinations, we'll be ready. If you think about putting the right drugs together at the right dose, this could be a trillion possible combinations. Mm -hmm. Our goal here is to very quickly find the right answers, help as many patients as possible. So I heard that Prof Dean actually moved to Singapore recently. Now what's so special about the medical community in Singapore? So after we moved here, uh, my wife was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And overnight, we were shifted from the innovation community to becoming part of the patient community. And what was truly remarkable about that was to just see all of my colleagues and friends in this community literally become our family overnight. I'm very grateful. Um, Everyone has a very kind heart and they just want to help you. And that's something that I see every day when I work amongst this community. And what's so important about this community in Singapore is that everybody is accessible. And when we can develop our treatments faster, when we can get the answers that we need more quickly, all of that time saved will ultimately help more patients.
In the next five to ten years, I think that Wisdom will become the a hub of digital medicine innovation in Singapore and globally. We will keep on doing pretty exciting projects. Um, there will be, you know, gamification and all the different digital technologies, but it's still going to be about people and helping people. It is critical to note that there is not a one-size-fits-all approach to treating patients. With AI, we can now personalize and optimize treatment for each patient. And it is my hope that we continue to push the boundaries of medicine with AI and save more lives in the future.